After the Tuesday night loss to the Tennessee Titans, I know a lot of Bills fans are thinking, what's going on with this defense really? So let's take a look at some of the plays that didn't go so well for the Bills here. This is the third and 19 play that the Titans were able to convert on. First of all, I'm not a big fan of the play call here. It's a cover two man press and press coverage just doesn't seem like a good idea to me because if one guy gets burnt, then it could be pretty catastrophic and that ends up being what happens especially since you don't have Tredavious White on the field and Tremaine Edmonds is covering the running back it leaves the middle of the field wide open since you've only got your two guys high I just think with a better play call probably could have ended up a little bit better here but regardless let's take a look at Taron Johnson since he is the one that gets beat here all it really takes is a quick outside jab and Terran's weight goes back on his heels, his hips are facing the wrong way, and that receiver is really able to blow right past him. You can see it well from this angle. Uh, Terran's just facing the wrong way, and there's a lot of green grass in front of that wide receiver to go make that catch and run it for the first down. Like I said, I think this could have been prevented with a better play call, but you got to make the play as a cornerback, and I understand you're going to get burnt sometimes, but this was a pretty big play and pretty devastating for morale. Taron had a pretty rough night overall. Here's another play that he gets beat on. The Titans are moving A.J. Brown inside. That way they get the matchup that they want. He's going to run the over route here, and right on the cut, he just gives a little bit of a shove to Taron here, and he just kind of flies backward. And just look at the separation that A.J. Brown has created here. He is wide open inside the 10 here. And then all of a sudden, you've got the Titans inside the two-yard line, really, uh, for for an easy touchdown on the next play. Let's take a look from the other angle here. You can see all it takes is just that little push, and A.J. Brown is all by himself, and pretty disappointing in, in Terrence's performance here. A.J. Klein's another guy that I've been a little disappointed with. Uh, from, from this angle over here on this play, it doesn't look like much, but once we get over the end zone angle, you can see Tremaine shoots the gap here. He kind of clears things up for Klein, who it looks like he should be able to give Derrick Henry a pop in the hole here, but he just ends up kind of drifting out a little bit. I'm not really sure why he was going that way, but AJ Klein's also been one of those guys that I've been kind of disappointed with. Uh, hopefully he can step it up here and, and start to play a little better. Then there's the other linebacker, Dodson. I don't think he's had a terrible season here when he is on the field. He's made a few mistakes here and there, but you can see on this play, here's the coverage. Uh, it's a typical zone coverage play here. Uh, on the play action, you can see all three linebackers get sucked up pretty close to the line of scrimmage, and that leaves A.J. Brown wide open over the top here. Uh, and yeah, there's nobody even close to him. You can kind of see those linebackers trying to make up some ground in the end here, but you know, you are supposed to cover the run first before the pass when you're a linebacker, so it's understandable. These guys play downhill. You know, here's, here's Dodson on this angle over here. You can see a little bit better. He gets sucked in. Side note, I'd like to see Addison have a little bit better of a contain there because Tannehill gets out there pretty easily. But, yeah, A.J. Brown's wide open, um, you know, and, and that is on the linebackers for getting sucked in too much on that play action. Here's another play where his aggressiveness kind of gets the better of him. Uh, you can kind of see on this play too, Dodson's a little too aggressive, Tremaine's a little bit too passive. I'd like to see kind of a happy medium between the two. Um, Dodson shoots the gap here, he over pursues down the field. I'd like to see him scrape across a little bit more and try to force the play back inside where he's supposed to have help with Tremaine who's getting blocked but yeah he, he really needs to be hitting the outside a little harder here he's got to protect that side but instead he just kind of slithers through and gets past the line of scrimmage here and if you want an example of how that play should be run here's Tremaine scraping across pretty well it sheds a couple blocks on the way and that way you know he kind of forces Derrick Henry to keep extending outside outside and uh, eventually he's able to force him out of bounds with the tackle this is this is great pursuit by Edmonds who I have criticized before on his ability to pursue the play sometimes I definitely think 
the Bills have a pretty big issue on defense with not having that big interior defensive lineman that can keep those linebackers clean and keep the offensive linemen off of the linebackers. Uh, you can see here Harrison Phillips doesn't need a double team block in order for them to take care of him. They just put one guy on him and they send the tackle out to Tremaine Edmonds there. You know, when you're a good D lineman, you want to make sure that you're keeping your linebackers clean. You want to make sure that you're taking up two guys. I don't think Tremaine's at the level we would want him to be at at the moment. He's still a pretty good player. He does make a mistake here and there. But overall, I think he's doing okay. But this definitely doesn't help when a tackle is able to get up to that level. He does do a good job of shedding the block here and making the tackle. But on this next play, you can see we've got a different defensive lineman in, interior defensive lineman, that's Taylor. Um, it is a harder block as well for the offensive line. It's a reach block here, so he's got to reach across the face, but they only put one blocker on Taylor, and he makes them pay for it, which is what you want from an interior defensive lineman. I'm not saying, you know, he's amazing. He does make a good play here, but you can see this is what you want. If, if the offensive line's only going to put one guy on you, make him pay, make the tackle, and that way in the future they have to scheme against you, and they know that they're going to have to put a double team on you. I do want to end the video on a positive note, and one kind of bright spot from the game on defense I think was Cam Lewis. We haven't been able to see much of him yet. He's, you know, pretty young corner, but look at this hit. I mean, he's not a big guy, and he he says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come hit you, Derrick Henry. And, you know, we saw in this game Derrick Henry embarrassing Josh Norman, but Cam Lewis doesn't seem to care. He says, you know what, I'm going to come hit you. This is This is my opportunity to kind of show everybody who I am and I think he did a good job of taking advantage of that for the most part we didn't get to see him in coverage too much you know a lot of the plays that he ended up making were coming up and making tackles in the run game but I was very impressed with his ability to tackle and his his aggressiveness and willingness to throw his body around and and to take on Derrick Henry one-on-one -on -one. because if you're a young guy that's probably a pretty scary thing to do coming in and really playing in your first game Overall, I don't think the defensive film from this game looked as bad as I expected it to. The defense definitely did not play well. There were times when guys that you would like to step up, like Taron Johnson, Josh Norman, Tremaine Edmonds, those guys got beat. And, you know, it didn't only happen once. So, I think really the score came out the way it did because it was a culmination of everything going wrong for the Bills. The offense had turnovers, the special teams had turnovers, there were a lot of unforced errors and penalties, the Titans always had great starting field position. I think this isn't a reason to panic, I think this is going to be a good learning experience for the Bills. They can go back and look at this and take this experience into the Monday night game against the Chiefs.